Fly fishing is a passion for some anglers, and tying their own flies, well, it's an art that deserves recognition at a fair contest. If you want to see some really good forms of art to uh, challenge fish to uh, take your bait, take your fly, come and see the uh, display and see what flying tying is all about. We have some great tires in the state of Iowa. These are salmon flies. Although people do fish with these, uh, you spend a couple days making one, you don't really want to go out and throw it in the river. So I make these as an art form and I very often frame them when I get done. If I was a fish, I'd eat it. How many, how many, one, two, if you look at it from the bottom. The tail is typically the same length as the body, so we can you know, measure the body and then measure the tail to see how they line up if we're really getting down to nitty gritty here. We have three divisions, an expert division, a junior division, and you have to be less than 17 years old at the time of the fair, and then everybody else falls in the adult division. And so uh, within those three divisions, we have four categories. But, you know, the time style, you're getting everything right. A dry fly is a fly that's tied, so it'll float on top of the water. And so when you cast it, it casts out and it comes down delicately on the water. So it looks like a mayfly just landed on the water and the fish will rise to it. The next category is the wet fly or the nymph. And it's to imitate an insect that's either crawling around the bottom of the stream or the lake or coming up the water column to get to the top and dry its wings and fly off. And then the streamer is a bait fish imitation. And an open category. Oh my goodness, that is just amazing. I actually entered the first couple years that uh, we did the competition and then uh, I started judging after that. I've been trout fishing up in Northeast Iowa area for close to 30 years, but I started back when I was a kid. It's so pretty up there. We're the only state next to Colorado that has a 12 month out of the year trout fishing season. We have fly fisher people all over the state. You know, anywhere there's lakes and ponds and rivers to be fished, that's a, that's a good place to do it. It's not just for trout, for bluegill and crappie and bass, gar. Uh, one of my favorites is to catch carp. They give you a good fight. People come to the DNR building and they would see the trout and the fish and uh, we like to have the display here. I always get a kick out of watching the kids come up to the display and point and look, and it really piques their interest. I tell you, we've had a really long relationship with the Hawkeye fly fishers, and um, their flies are really intricate, and it, it, it ties right back into that trout tank right behind it.